The principle of mentalism stands resolute as the cornerstone among the seven hermetic principles. It beckons us to explore the depths of existence itself, unfurling before us like an ancient manuscript. Today, we'll venture deep into the recesses of the first hermetic principle, the principle of mentalism. The all is mind, the universe is mental, echoes the words of Kybalion, encapsulating the essence of this profound principle. Why does our journey commence with this intricate concept? Not because it offers simplicity, but because of its fundamental significance. While our grasp of this principle may elude us, this is not a cause for dismay. Indeed, this video does not claim to bestow complete comprehension, rather, it seeks to kindle a spark within you, an awareness of its existence that may, in turn, elevate your understanding. Imagine, trying to articulate the ineffable, to encapsulate the unknowable in mere words. The challenge lies before us, how to convey the ethereal using the constraints of language. But, I am committed to that endeavor, and through that same commitment, I hope to illuminate a path, no matter how tenuous. As we embark, consider this, the principle of mentalism is not a mere notion, it is the crucible from which the alchemy of creation emerges. It is a wellspring of potentiality, a repository of infinite possibilities. Each occurrence, each event, is akin to a cascade of stimuli that find their way to the complex labyrinth of our consciousness. In a remarkably intriguing manner, the vibrations that caress our ears metamorphose into coherent sounds, seamlessly comprehensible to our mind. The very fabric of our encounters, the canvas upon which life paints its hues, resides within the confines of our cognition. The vibrations transform into thoughts, thoughts that find meaning within your mind's symphony. In this way, the events, the experiences, all converge within the theater of your cognition. They unfold not in the expanse of the external world, but in the realm of your perception. It's as if you're an artist, sketching interpretations upon the canvas of your mind, bringing life to the play of light in sensations. This foundational understanding, though rudimentary, is a gateway to grasping the essence of this principle. For those traversing the terrain of these concepts for the first time, envision the scene from The Matrix, where Morpheus elucidates the nature of reality to Neo. Consider the tapestry of existence woven by the symphony of electrical impulses and perception. Within this perceptual fabric lies the conundrum, what defines reality? The reality that you discern and embrace has paramount significance, for you are the upholder of that observation. Now, consider the enigmatic proclamation, all is mind. These capitalized letters are no mere typography, they encompass the essence of a profound realization. Let's unravel the essence of this concept. The ball presents a challenge in its interpretation. It's as if we're trying to grasp a wisp of smoke, always just beyond our reach. Yet, let us explore alternate words that might kindle familiarity within you. Perhaps, source energy, or the divine resonate more profoundly. These terms, like bridges between the known and the enigmatic, can be pathways to comprehending these foundational principles that hold profound importance. Think of the term, the divine. For some, it conjures up images of religious icons or dogma. For others, it brings to mind the image of an elderly deity sitting atop a throne. However, the divine carried resonance beyond that. It is not limited to human attributes. Here lies a crucial point of understanding, the divine is not a mere personification, but a cosmic force. The essence of this quest is rooted in the idea that we are intrinsically connected to the divine, reflecting its essence. Which is linked to the second hermetic principle, the principle of correspondence, 
as I explained in a previous video here on the channel. This principle captures the essence of, as it is above, so it is below. The link to the video will be in the description, so you can better understand the connection between these laws. But back to the concept, if the all represents the limitless universal consciousness, then, by extension, our consciousness aligns with it. Thus, we recognize that we are also reflections of this great cosmic tapestry. Now, let's pivot our contemplation to the term, mind. In our quest to mold reality and shape our destinies, the idea of, mind, emerges as a cornerstone. We work with a trinity of minds, each playing a unique role. First, the conscious mind, the mind often assumed as the driving force, although it's the second mind that truly wields the reins. The conscious mind, the one deciphering my words at this very moment, is the one you are well acquainted with. It's the realm of daily tasks, of making sense of life's intricacies. This is your conscious mind, the one riding the surface waves of awareness. It's where your thoughts spark, where self-talk weaves its tapestry. These ripples of consciousness ripple like echoes. Second, the subconscious mind. Here lies a realm of tremendous significance, a realm we will traverse in greater depth. The subconscious mind operates in the shadows, often shrouded from your direct attention. Yet, its influence shapes your core identity, your preferences, your very being. Think about this, why does a certain color resonate as your favorite? Unraveling the threads, we find the subconscious weaving this tapestry. Its programming commenced when you drew your first breath, as you embarked on the journey of life. Amidst this tapestry, the subconscious constructs patterns that guide your inclinations. The intricate web of associations forms your likes and dislikes, with reasons often veiled from your conscious reasoning. For example, as a baby, you basked in the warmth of your mother's love. In a moment, a blue toy was gifted, and a connection was etched in your subconscious, blue, forever entwined with affection. Or there might be other pathways, unique to each life's canvas. These subconscious imprints, woven in the early tapestry of your existence, shape your understanding of reality. As you've journeyed through life, these programs have layered upon one another. In youth, the canvas is more receptive to redefinition, malleable to new narratives. With age, the web becomes complex, interwoven. Yet, remember, even in the tapestry of an older mind, the potential for transformation exists. It's akin to unfurling layers of paint from an aged canvas, revealing the original hues beneath. In the face of this knowledge, pause and reflect for a moment. Your recurring proclamations can imprint limiting beliefs within you. If your dialogues are veiled by scarcity, these reverberations could have influenced any area of your life. It is a powerful testament to the hidden dynamics of the subconscious, a realm often uncharted. Now, the third, the superconscious mind. The superconscious mind, in essence, embodies the essence of the all, a collective consciousness intertwined with every individual subconscious. This is the gateway to source energy, the tether that binds us to the divine, the cosmic whole. Here, the realm of miracles resides, where desires manifest. However, know that this path is not a walk in the garden, it requires crossing the terrain of transformation, of peeling. Let us return, then, to the principle of mentalism, the cornerstone of our exploration. As we navigate the currents of these minds, we glimpse the ever-present dance of the mind, a symphony of consciousness intertwined with the universe. With a grasp of the all, the primal source, and a contemplation of the nature of the mind, we set the stage for a revelation, a revelation named correspondence. 
As we transition our focus to the principle of correspondence, remember this, as above, so below, as within, so without. The threads that weave these realms connect us to a truth that is profound. Imagine yourself as a fragment of the cosmic mosaic, an embodiment of the divine source that flows through all. But take heed, for here lies a threshold where truths, complete and half-realized, merge. The proclamation, I am God, echoes with the resonance of both authenticity and limitation, encapsulating the duality inherent in all truths. Now, let your understanding deepen, much like the roots of a great tree sinking into the earth. Consider the scope of your creative essence, mirroring the vast expanse of the cosmic mind. This tapestry of consciousness reveals your latent capacities, akin to the universe itself. As we journey back to the video's inception, we encounter the concept of creation, an idea often intertwined with the law of attraction. Here, we face a paradox, truths, much like constellations, guide us through this cosmic labyrinth. Delve deeper, and you'll find that the veil shrouding the process of attraction begins to lift. The mechanics of attraction draw inspiration from the symphony of the superconscious mind. Now, reflect upon the ramifications of this revelation. Picture yourself as a manifestation of myriad potentials, a repository of infinite versions. The key is not creation, but the fine-tuning of your thoughts, the refinement of your mind. These concepts, bound by the fabric of the all, whisper to us of mysteries yet unveiled, of connections yet to be explored. With every step, the call to unravel the cosmic tapestry intensifies, promising revelations that transcend the realm of the ordinary. In this way, the proclamation, all is mind, emerges as a gateway to transformation. With a continuous shift of your vibration, the path to successful manifestation unfolds before you. It may sound incredibly simple, and in essence, it is. But, this simplicity blossoms through practice and awareness. Imagine a journey of transformation, a process alchemists of old liken to the search for the prima materia. This ethereal substance is often described as the very foundation of reality, the quintessence from which all is born. Yet, as wisdom unfolds, it becomes clear that the true prima materia resides within our minds. The power to shape, attract, and manifest springs from the well of our consciousness. Pause and ponder, creation, a concept deeply entwined with the law of attraction. However, in our quest for understanding, a revelation emerges, all that you seek, the possibilities and potentials, they're already there, etched into the fabric of reality. The all simply is, and within this grand orchestration, you are poised to select your own resonance. In the realm of comprehension, barriers may arise, obscuring the full scope of these insights. Know that this is a shared sentiment, one that many have navigated. So, to make our journey easier, let's do a practical exercise. Envision a radiant apple, feel its weight in your hand, sense the texture of its skin beneath your fingertips. Immerse yourself in its essence, its color, its fragrance. Now, shift your focus to a car, conjure its form, feel its presence. Note how these entities differ, in scent, touch, appearance. As you discern the disparities between these mental constructs, a revelation unfurls. If your mind can discern differences within these ethereal creations, constructs existing solely within the recesses of your thoughts, then must they not, in some form, exist. The very act of differentiation implies existence within the realm of your mind's canvas. Within the boundless landscape of your thoughts, these entities do hold a form of existence. For as your mind conceives multitudes of apples, 
of cars, of a tapestry woven from myriad life forms, the cosmic consciousness likewise conceives the galaxies of existence, each a thread in the grand design. So, reflect on this interplay of thought and cosmic alignment. As you traverse the pathways of perception, remember that this journey into understanding might feel intricate, perhaps elusive. However, take solace in the wisdom that the essence of the all eludes complete understanding. It beckons to be experienced, touched by the essence of existence itself. Remember that every contemplation shapes the landscape of your awakening. Until then, go forth with curiosity as your guide. Thank you for joining me on this journey of reflection and discovery. So, dear friend, if this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video so that more people can benefit from this message. And don't forget to leave a comment below, sharing your thoughts, reflections, or even your experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.